Now that we have seen integer and floating point variables, the third major data type that we have in C is character variables. So let's look at online GDB. So char is the keyword used to store a character. I've given a variable name as A. I've initialized that character to A, right? So this is the way you store A. And then I am printing, note the format specifier, it is percentage %c, right? So char actually occupies one byte of memory and variable name is a. It is initialized to capital A and then printf percentage %c a will take the value of a and print it here. Let's run this program to see what happens. So capital A gets printed. This is in summary what happens. We have already seen that a computer can store only numbers. It cannot store characters. So what has happened within this computer is how does it store this value of A, right? This capital A given that it is not a number. So the secret is called ASCII table. So what is this ASCII table? For every character that is typable on the keyboard, keyboard that you have, for everything that you have, including the space bar, uh, ampersand symbol, percentage, number 0 to 9, letters, alphabets, A, B, C, D to Z, small letters, um, all lowercase letters, everything that you see here, everything on the keyboard is represented by a corresponding number. So if you look at it, capital A is 65. So that's the number corresponding to A. So when we initialize the variable saying a character ch equal to a, what happens is 65 is stored as a value. That's how computer is able to store this. Let's look at this in a program. So let's look at this program. char a equal to capital A, note the single quotes, printf percentage c a. So actually the a letter a will be printed. Now the same thing, I'm going to print A as a number, right? So percentage D means it's a number. So whatever it is stored in A, it's going to get printed. We have earlier seen that integers are printed with percentage D. So in this case, it's a character. When you do a percentage D, it will convert this character to the corresponding ASCII value and then it will get printed. As we saw in the table, it should print 65. Let's see what happens in this case. So it should print capital A and 65. Capital A and 65. Why the 65 is coming in the next line is because of this backslash n. Whenever this backslash n is given, it prints the next item on the next line. So here again, if you change instead of this A to 65, again the response will be the same here. So A will have a value of 65. And then we are doing a percentage C of that, which will print A and then you see a 65 here. So this is how value gets stored. So one byte of memory, which is eight bits, any value between zero to 127 can be stored in that. So that's how this value gets stored. 65 is the value and it does a lookup into the ASCII table. When you do a percentage C, it does a lookup into the ASCII table. So 65 corresponds to capital A and then it gets printed out here. So if we want to change this to small uh, say B, um, so 98 is what is the ASCII value for small B. So lowercase B or small B. So if you do 98, it will print small B. So all these are in the ASCII table that we saw here. So here is 98 correspondingly small B is there small b 98. This middle column that you see is hexadecimal values which you can ignore. So the key ASCII values to remember are 65 to 90 is uppercase A to uppercase Z. 97 to 122 is lowercase A to lowercase Z. 48 to 57 is 0 to 9. This might be confusing. I'll show the difference quickly. So let me clarify this. So let's look at this program char a equal to zero. Look at, I don't have a single quotes here. It's directly given a value of zero. So ASCII zero is assigned here. Printf percentage ca. Actually ASCII zero is null, which is a non-printable character. 
and then print a percentage d a will actually print the numerical value of a which is zero right second what i'm doing is so in this particular case a non printable character will get printed which is actually a null uh, and then zero will get printed after that i'm assigning this single quote zero single quote so look at the difference between line 14 and line 18 so when this is assigned an ascii value of 48 is assigned to a when i do a percentage c it will look up the ascii table 48 corresponding to 48 the value is 0 so 0 gets printed when i do a printf percentage d 48 gets printed so the expected answer here is null followed by 0 followed by 0 followed by 48 let's run this program quickly and check what is the output So as expected, null, 0, 0, and 48. So this is how it works. So let's quickly look at the difference between the integer and a character. So it stores whole numbers. Both of them are stored as whole numbers. Size, it's for integer, it depends on the compiler, whether it's two or, two or four bytes. For character, it's always one byte. Unsigned. It's both supported in integer and in character. So unsigned character would store a value between 0 to 255. Signed character or normally a character would store a value between minus 128 to plus 127. So short and long, there is no short and long available for character. Only signed and unsigned characters available. Format specifier for integer is percentage %d. Format specifier for character is percentage %c. That's pretty much about character.